Since all of the other op amps in the LM324 component are identical, we can simply copy the first schematic part symbol we created three additional times. Use Control A to select all part primitives in the component editor window or select the primitives for copying with a selection region. Then, copy the selected component primitives to the clipboard with Control C. Add a new part to the component using the Tools, New Part command from the pull down menu or the Add Component Part button in the Active Bar panel. An arrow appears to the left of the component in the schematic library panel. Click on the arrow to see the parts included in the component. Part A is the first part we created. Part B is the new part we just added. Click on it and see that it's empty. Paste the copied symbol primitives into Part B using Control V or the Paste command from the context menu. Take care to align the connection point of the output pin to point zero. Zero. Repeat these steps two more times to create all four parts of the component. Then, use the pin editor, which is located in a separate pin tab of the Properties panel, to edit the component data. Click the pencil icon to open up a spreadsheet like environment for editing. This panel includes sorting by any column as required. Now, edit the pin numbers or designators and pin names to match the datasheet. The LM324 component now has four separate op amps in it.